Hey everybody, Jordi here, and welcome... Pardon me, I've just been eating something. Uh, welcome back to some more Close Your Eyes. Because remember last time, we ended up in this room here. And there is this much time left. Oh yeah, is it? Yeah, it's left click to blink. So if you guys remember last time, we saw these weird things. We have absolutely... Yeah, eat to interact. Oh, this freaking horror game, man. Ah! Oh my god. Sorry. Oh, Jesus Christ, that scared me. Yeah! First, what, minute and I'm already yelling? I don't even know how loud I was. Jesus. Was I supposed to die from that? So something I really like about this game is that you can't really die in it. I'm not permanently anyways, right? It's a really interesting game. Oh no. Great! There's one of them. I can click for like two seconds. Oh no, is this a maze? I don't like the prospect of getting absolutely minced by them. Don't these things attract them? Hey, I passed that section. This game is really well done. Oh my god, that, that, that first scare of this video though. Sorry if I've been quiet for a ridiculously long time, I'm just freaking out. That is some ass. What happens if I touch you? I really don't trust you, buddy. All right, what's this? This game is really cool though. I hope that guy is just a frozen object, but this game has exceeded my expectations of freaking me out more than once. Why do those things exist, and why are they looking at me? Oh, that fire effect is really well done. Not bad at all. So, it said, give me back my other eye. What, am I looking under a skirt here? What's the significance of that thing? What was that supposed to be? That shivered on my spine a bit. I have robot hands. Cognitive transfer is murder. View is a hoax. Ban CT. CT does not preserve life, it steals. I can't remember the name of the corporation I'm at. Maybe we can edit that in, but I'm probably not gonna remember to do that. This game. So good. All right, what's the significance of these?
Can I turn that on? No. Be cool if I could, though. No? Alright. It's behind door number two. What in the world? Am I gonna need that first aid kit later? Mm. Two chairs here. What is that? There's one can. Got a feeling the number of things I'm seeing. Please don't. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Go away. Oh, I'm freaking out. Sorry that I'm being so quiet. Or how many chairs were there? Four? Three boxes. Two tables, one can. More importantly, there were two chairs. Two, three, and two? This game is seriously freaking the hell out of me, man. I'm gonna close this door. Thank you. What's behind this door again? So, two tables and one of these. And a lamp. Actually, how we count? One, two, one. I don't have anything to hint at me that more time has passed. Oh no. So what, one, two, one, I said. I don't know what. Oh, is it gonna say the same thing as before if I do six, six, six? <laughs> no? I am hilarious, I know, right? That, that's not a funny joke at all, actually. <laughs> It's interesting how I can't run in this game either. There's something incredibly obvious to this, I've got a feeling. But I'm just too dumb to figure it out. Oh, wait, it's the thing in the rooms. There are two things in here. Hold up. One, two, three, four. Four, two, or some combination of four, two, and one, two, three, four, five, six. Four, two, five. It's worth a try. Hey, it worked. No. That was genius. Obviously, I don't know how to climb a ladder. This is my first time having a flashlight. How amazing. This is actually gonna be a huge help. All right. You actually cannot see anything. 
I am sweating. This way? This arrow, maybe? Tell me how I get around it. All the arrows point this way. Great, we've got ourselves a monster friend. I'm going to try to wander here in the darkness because I have absolutely zero desire to run into another one of those why is this area so big when in doubt just keep walking Is there something I'm supposed to be doing? Oh no. This is VL, not anything else, is it? Hello, camera. World War Five is what? It's not the end of us. It's just the beginning. Yeah. Isn't that great? Well, it's gonna be the only door at the end of the hallway. Crap! You kidding me? I can seriously see through. Yeah. Is this? Ah! Gee, sorry. Oh my God. He came at me so quickly. I am sorry. That was just... Hint, just give up. Oh no, I've become one of them. This is weird. Is this like a self-destruct? Oh! Hi, goodbye. This is really strange. This is really freaky! Oh boy. What is going on? Why am I running? Salutations, client A4D32. That covers it. Now wait here until a view employee comes to give you further instructions. What happened to me? It's nice that I can see my body. I guess there was a reason I couldn't see my body before. Alright, there's gonna be a jump scare at the end here, isn't it? This is the end of the game, I've got a feeling. Because, like, the time was counting down. Oh my god, that door animation. Sets up for a brilliant scare. Alright. Guess we can't open any of these doors. Oh. None of them? What's the puzzle for getting out of here? Oh, it's just these doors. Am I actually gonna leave? Yes! 
This laboratory was in the middle of nowhere. Oh no. You're not done yet? Reach the red button. Reach it! Did I really just die there? <gasps> that was the game? My god. The husk ending. The husk opened their eyes. Oh! You can get multiple different endings? Huh. So this is a really interesting game. I got the husk ending, it said. Huh. And I like playing with headset controller volume on half as well because of how freaking loud the game is. Oh my god. Ugh. I screamed so loudly twice during that. I hope I hope I didn't put any of my Nurbers on. Uh, did I really say Nurbers? Oh my god. I hope I didn't put any of my neighbors on edge from my freaking yelling at the top of my lungs in fear at a video game. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> so, I this was free, this game. This is really, really good. I definitely recommend playing this for yourself. It's, it's a really good horror game. It was extremely well made. I mean, certainly there are a few aspects that it could have been better, but it's like, that's something that you would expect from a sort of triple-a horror game like outlast actually is outlast triple-a horror game i would think so or isn't outlast indie no amnesia was indie i don't know if red barrel studios is indie no i would think that it's some sort of higher tier developer i don't know can someone please correct me in the comments like if they're triple-a or indie or maybe something in between i've got no idea but anyway thank you guys for watching this uh mini series a mini indie series of close your eyes i will see you all next time Bye bye